All right, Casey is cooking some chili this morning. Casey, how's it going? You know what, good, and we're going to go back to the chili in just a second, but i got to ask you a serious question. I'm getting ready to interview a fine young man named Mason, but I have a feeling he's doing something behind my head right now. Is he giving me antlers? Is he giving me jazz nope, hands? Nothing. Is he giving me bunny ears? No, nope. he, he wouldn't do that. No. Oh, ah. So let me introduce you to Mason right now and his dad, Sean, and uh, you guys recently just went to the burn camp. It was in August. How many years have you been going to the burn camp? Uh, since preschool. Since preschool. And, uh, Sean, what's Burn Camp done for this young man? Um, it's really boosted his, uh, self-esteem, and, uh, I think it gives him something to look forward to every year, to go back and meet his old friends and make new ones. And so it's something that's really good for, uh, the kids that are, that have burn scars and been through something traumatic. So it's a good thing. And uh, they tell me that, Mason, you're kind of an ambassador for Burn Camp. You've been there so long. You help the new kids out, make them feel comfortable, and uh, it's just a lot of fun. Yeah. All right. And you don't know about Mason. He said he's got some mad dance moves, but he's afraid to tell his dad that he got them from his mom. Uh, no. <laughs> no. All right, but let's come over here and talk to Kristen, and she's with the Burn Camp. And uh, the Burn Camp is just a great way for these kids to hang out and kind of, you know, socialize. You know, it, it's kind of amazing. I was thinking back to a story about Mason in preschool when he met another boy who had scars pretty similar to his. And one of those kiddos had to come back to surgery like a couple weeks after camp. And he said, okay, you know what? If Mason, who's got scars just like me, can do this, I can do this too. And, uh, and BJ, that's why you guys got involved because all the fire departments, 14 across the state, are teaming up for the fourth annual Fireman Chili Cook-Off. It's this Saturday. And what made you guys want to be a part of it? It's really nice for us because it supports a program that we are really involved with. Um, it gives us the opportunity to have a little bit of closure as well because usually with the emergencies, we don't have as much time to do follow-up with the patient. So it gives us a little personal interaction later on down the road. I like that, BJ. And we're here out in uh, West Valley. And uh, this Saturday is the event. It's free to the public. Uh, $2 for a small bowl of chili, $5 for a big live music, some mascots, all kinds of fun. And Mason, are you going to be there this weekend? Yeah. And you're going to be showing some dance moves? Uh, Maybe. I don't, I don't if the money's know. Right. If the money's right. I like what Dad's <laughs> saying. We're going to send it back to you guys. Coming up, we're going to have a fireman challenge. We're going to use Mason, Alexis, and a firefighter. We'll see you get dressed the quickest. We'll see you guys in a bit. All right. All right. Fun. Good.